Hello everyone and welcome to the investment analysis course. Uh, my name is Anisha Ghosh and I'm currently uh, a faculty at Carnegie Mellon University's Tepa School of Business where I have been teaching this investment analysis course uh, over the past few years and I'm very happy to be here today to deliver this lecture, uh, this course to you all um, and I hope that you will enjoy the seven weeks duration of this course and uh, find it helpful in your future lives and careers. Uh, so this, this course is going to have a seven week duration um, and I'm going to be uploading uh, some lecture, some course material, including uh, a set of uh, video recorded lectures and along with some slides on a weekly basis. Um, and each week's uh, lecture videos are going to be subdivided into several smaller videos uh, so as to facilitate a better understanding. Uh, so uh, let's get started with uh, the, the first part of week one's lecture content and that is entitled Course Objectives and Intended Outcomes. Now in this part of the lecture uh, we are going to first talk about what the course is about um, that I'm sure all of you are curious to learn. Now next we are going to talk about some of the administrative issues uh, pertaining to the seven week duration of the course. Next, I'm going to describe to you some of the objectives of this course and finally end with um, some intended outcomes um, or in other words, what, I, what you should expect to learn by the end of this course. Uh, so let's get started with what this course is about. Now, uh, this investment analysis course is going to introduce you to a very wide set of analytical tools used by different types of investment professionals. Now, these could include portfolio managers, traders, as well as individual investors like yourselves. Um, over the past decades, we have witnessed a very rapid increase in the number of individual uh, investors who participate in, in the stock market. And, and I hope that um, taking this course is going to prepare you to, to make more intelligent uh, investment choices for yourselves and your families. Now, after having uh, learnt about some of the basic analytical tools uh, that are used in investment practices, we are also going to spend a fair amount of time uh, in this course uh, learning to actually apply some of these tools to various real-life investment situations. So in particular, we are going to look at um, historical stock market data in the US uh, as well as a few other countries and, and apply some of the tools and techniques that, uh, that we learn during this course. Now, moving on to um, what are the objectives of this course. This course uh, is going to teach you certain uh, widely used concepts and tools that are used to analyze uh, various publicly traded securities as well as learn to apply these tools to real life situations. So in particular you're going to learn about the properties, the risk and return properties of a very wide class of uh, securities or financial assets that are traded in, in the market. Now, I would like to mention here that over time we have witnessed uh, a very rapid increase in the number of uh, assets that are traded in the market. And this course is going to give you um, an overview of, of some of the major classes of financial assets 
uh, what, what their similarities are uh, as well as what their differences are in that context. Uh, now next we are going to um, talk about how the prices of these very different types of uh, financial assets are determined in financial markets. As you all know, uh, the, the prices of different assets are different and they change over time. So this course is uh, so during this course you're going to learn uh, how the prices of uh, assets are determined in the market. And that is going to give you uh, a better intuition and understanding of uh, why the prices of assets differ at a given time, as well as why these prices change over time. Uh, now next, we are going to discuss the relationships between the prices of uh, different classes of financial assets. To give you an example, if we look at the uh, 2008 financial crisis, what we observe is a simultaneous large drop in the prices of seemingly very different types of financial assets. So this tends to suggest that, uh, that the prices of uh, seemingly very different assets tend to co-move. So uh, we're going to learn in this course uh, about the relationships between the prices of uh, different classes of financial assets. And finally, uh, <clears throat> having learned about the characteristics of, uh, of the different, of the major types of assets that are traded in, in markets, uh, we are going to learn how to make an optimal choice of a portfolio or strategy involving these uh, very large number of securities. Now, I would like to emphasize that this investment analysis course is not about stock picking, but rather is to learn about the economics of financial markets that is going to aid us uh, in, in forming an optimal portfolio of many assets. So now let's, uh, let's move on to some of the key ideas that we are going to learn in this course. So there are three basic ideas underlying most of the tools and techniques that we are going to learn during this course. The, the first basic idea is, is a very simple yet a very powerful one and this is called no arbitrage. So what this, what this means is that there should be no arbitrage. Uh, so this, this principle implies that there should be no arbitrage in well-functioning financial markets, or in other words, no free lunch in financial markets. This means that uh, one cannot make money for sure without bearing risks. And we will study how this simple but uh, very powerful idea allows us to figure out the, the values and payoffs of many securities and trading strategies, including the term structure of interest rates and several derivative securities uh, like options and swaps. Now, the, the second key idea that, that we will talk about are those of diversification and hedging. Now, although the prices of uh, individual securities tend to be very volatile, uh, which means that we observe uh, very large movements in the prices of these assets, what we will learn in this course is that it is possible to combine securities into a portfolio that reduces the volatility or the riskiness of the, of the overall portfolio. Now, uh, of course, to, uh, in order to benefit from diversification, we, we need to uh, have a sense of how these securities co-move or move together. 
which implies that in order to diversify or hedge effectively, we need some measure of the sensitivity of the securities to the underlying uncertainty in the economy. And finally, uh, the, the third important concept is that of an equilibrium risk-return trade-off. So we will, we will learn about what types of, uh, what part of risk is rewarded. And similarly, what risks are not rewarded in financial markets and therefore should be diversified away. And we will see how this idea um, allows us to figure out appropriate benchmark portfolios that can be used to evaluate uh, particular strategies or um, fund managers. Now, to, to summarize uh, some of the intended outcomes of the course or of what you should expect to learn um, after the seven-week duration of the course, the, the first item is that you will be able to analyze the risk and reward characteristics of various risky securities. And this is going to include all the major types of securities that are traded, uh, including stocks, bonds, options, swaps, as well as futures and forward contracts. Now next, uh, you will be able to use portfolio optimization techniques to both design as well as implement uh, efficiently diversified uh, portfolios or trading strategies that have many desirable characteristics. Now next, uh, you will be able to use equilibrium models such as the very uh, well-known and widely used capital asset pricing model to evaluate uh, various portfolios as well as portfolio managers. Now, uh, next, moving on to the uh, fixed income or bond market, uh, this course is going to teach you how to calculate the term structure of interest rates as well as uh, apply certain basic fixed income risk measurement tools such as duration and convexity that are key to both measuring as well as managing um, the, the riskiness of bond portfolios. And finally, you will be able to compute trading strategies involving derivative securities like options, futures, forwards, um, and, and other assets, as well as be able to compute the prices of these uh, derivative assets. Uh, now let me move on to the administrative aspects of this course. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this course is going to be over seven weeks. And on a weekly basis, uh, I'm going to be uploading uh, both lecture slides as well as uh, accompanying videos on, onto the website. Now, uh, apart from watching the videos, I would strongly encourage you to, to do some more reading on a weekly basis so as to derive the maximum benefit from this course. Uh, the, the first reading is going to be the course textbook. Uh, which is called The Modern Portfolio Theory and Investment Analysis. Uh, the eighth edition is the, uh, is the latest version. It's, it's a very widely used textbook that should prove a useful resource throughout your career. And, and I'm going to rec uh, the, the chapters for corresponding to each week's uh, lecture material are available on the course syllabus and I'm going to be uh, mentioning them in the videos as well. Now apart from the chapters of the the relevant chapters of the textbook I would encourage you to to read my lecture slides um, as, as mostly as a complement to the to, mostly to complement the textbook and finally, I would strongly encourage you to, to read certain articles in the financial press so as to be able to relate uh, certain current events to what we cover in this course. Let me end uh, these set of slides by talking briefly about the evaluation procedure for the course. 
Now, uh, there is going to be a homework assignment for every week, uh, and I strongly recommend you to to complete the homework assignments. Um, it's it's only going to help you um, apply some of the concepts that you learn during this course and uh, help you get a better understanding of the contents. Now, uh, the grade on every assignment is going to count equally towards your final grade and uh, you will receive a certification of course completion um, upon securing a final grade uh, of at least 60%. Okay, now uh, I would like to end this, uh, the, the first part, the first session of this week's lecture by, by taking you through certain parts of the website that will be relevant to you uh, for this course. Now, this is, uh, this is the courses wall that all of you can access on the website. And as you can see, uh, this, this provides all the lecture slides so this is going to provide all the lecture slides uh, on, a, on a weekly basis, along with the videos below. Okay? And further below, you're going to see all the homework assignments. The, you're going to see the homework assignment for that particular week. Now, if you go to the discussion forum, uh, this part is, is intended to facilitate collaborative learning. Uh, now, my, my experience, from my experience at uh, Carnegie Mellon University, I've seen that uh, given investments is a fairly quantitative discipline, uh, students learn a lot more when they collaborate on uh, both on the lecture material, on understanding the lecture material, as well as on uh, solving the homework assignments. So I would strongly uh, encourage you to use this part of the website to interact uh, with your fellow peers. You, uh, you can ask questions to them pertaining to the course material or any particular uh, questions on the homework assignment, as well as you can uh, ask me any questions about the course. And uh, now last but not the least, I, I would like to get to know all of you. Um, so, uh, so I'm going to be posting a question on, on this page uh, shortly, uh, within, the, within the next day or so, asking each of you to introduce yourself uh, both to me as well as the rest of the uh, students who are enrolled for the course. And, um, and I will look forward to receiving all your answers and getting to know all of you a bit more. Thank you.